Hello, this is Dr. Silva. I'm currently doing some numbing for a bone marrow aspiration. You can see this is one of the most important parts of the procedure so that my patient here is comfortable through it all. Okay, is it sharp at all? Me? Yeah. I can't feel it. Okay, okay good. All right, my goal for you is that you feel pressure but not pain, okay? So right now you're just feeling pressure, not pain? Yep. Great. Looks like that anesthesia that we did worked really well. We put a lot of lidocaine around the bones so that she's comfortable through this entire bone marrow aspiration. It's a little different than your typical bone marrow biopsy. The reason being is we're actually drawing for multiple sites of the bone marrow in order to get a high concentration of bone marrow and cells. So you can see she's feeling pretty comfortable. You might feel a little sting with that. This is the part where we actually draw the bone marrow out of your bone. So you may feel a dull ache. Just let me know if you have any discomfort, okay? okay. Here's the pulling. Definitely feel that, but it doesn't hurt. Yeah, it's pretty mild. Good, very good. All right, you can see how comfortable this procedure actually is. And it really comes down to technique. Physician experience and technique here is what's gonna make this experience much better for the patient. see here driving a little bit deeper now as I continue to aspirate this is a technique we use to actually acquire more cells at a different site this is essential because if your doctor is pulling only from one location in the bone and drawing let's say 100 cc's most of that's going to be blood and not bone marrow so because I'm going at various locations, we're actually getting more cells and less blood, more bone marrow. I feel that. Yeah, that's, that's us pulling the bone marrow. Okay. What do you put it in? We just have it in a syringe. So, and then we'll uh, transfer it to another device once we process. All right, so we're basically doing that entire process approximately four or five times on each side. We numbed her up very well for the bone marrow aspiration. A lot of people are really concerned about that part and really it shouldn't be a big concern. It is quite comfortable if the patient is numbed up really well. So if you are getting a bone marrow aspiration, you wanna make sure that your doctor knows how to numb you up appropriately so that you are comfortable through it all. Also, if you're gonna get a stem cell treatment, you always wanna make sure that those cells are derived from your own body. They're always gonna be more powerful than those ones you can buy. Allograph, amniotic, placental tissue that is quite popular these days. They have some growth factors. There is some benefit to utilizing them, but if you want the best effect, you're gonna use your own stem cells derived from bone marrow. So you always wanna make sure that your doctor who's treating you is also the doctor that evaluates you and follows up with you. This is how we get the best outcomes. 